Okay, well, uh, we um, just wanted to um, think more about this issue now of Black Lives Matter. And I've got my friend, uh, Jason, here. I wanted to interview him. Jason is a pastor across the river in, uh, in Battersea. And um, I thought he could really help us think through this issue uh, for ourselves. So Jason, can, can you just briefly just say something about what it was like growing up as a, a young black man in London? Well, I, I grew up in South London and the, the place where I grew up particularly was uh, not very diverse actually. Um, so it was unusual uh, in my school to be a person of color. So from earliest times, I remember being a, a little bit different, being someone who people sort of looked at and so on, but, but by and large, really happy. Uh, childhood. Uh, one thing that really sticks out is when Stephen Lawrence was killed, uh, which was not very far, a couple of miles from where we lived. And the thing that struck me then was all of a sudden, yeah, okay, a bit different and, you know, you, you, you deal with that. But suddenly it's not just about being a bit different. Actually, yeah. people might yeah. hurt you yeah. because yeah. of the colour yeah. of your skin. So that was something I remember. And since then, teenage years, the thing that sticks out is being stopped by the police many, yeah. many, yeah. many times. Yeah. So I uh, can't remember how many times I've been stopped by the police. It's been too many times. So recently, that, recently. That your thinking. <laughs> recently, brother, or you, uh, is that just... Uh... <laughs> well, funny, I, I remember being on the way to, to preach at your church yeah. and being stopped by the police. So, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, the, 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 the whole movement of Black Lives Matter um, is saying something very, very clear. Now, let me just ask you, it was a, a, a stupid question, but it is, it's good to think it through. Yeah. Do do black lives matter? <laughs> Short answer, yes. <laughs> the question really though is why why do any lives matter? Yeah. And the, the Bible is really clear on that. The reason that any life, any human life uh, matters is because we are made in the image of God. So right at the beginning of the Bible, there's something special, yeah. unique, privileged about being made a human being. Yeah. It means that God wants to say, don't take life um, uh, for granted. And, and even think about the way you relate to other human beings because they yeah. are precious. So, so that's in a nutshell, Brilliant. what the Bible says. Brilliant, Brilliant. short and sweet, good. Um, Jason, last question. Um, what do white people like, like me? You know, I'm a middle-aged white man. Um, what do I need to know? What do I need to learn about this issue? Um, I guess if I could say one thing, maybe it would be to recognize that even if you believe from the depths of your heart that all people are made in the image of God, as I know you do, uh, and even if you're looking into these things and you're not convinced of that, but you, you, something naturally says to you, all people matter, um, it's still quite difficult to get into the skin of what it feels like to be a minority living in a majority culture. So just a picture that, that brings it home, I think, is you imagine walking into a party and everyone there, you're in your jeans and your t-shirt and everyone else at this party is in a suit and a tie. Mm. Now, there'll be differences between them. Some will have a, you know, a waistcoat on, different color ties, but people's eyes will naturally be drawn to you and they'll be naturally be asking questions like, how, why is he here? Is he different? What's his agenda? Mm. Mm. And for the minority living in a majority culture, that is an everyday experience. Mm. You walk into situations and there's that sense of difference that you have to deal with. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think not to underestimate the impact that they can have. And the only way yeah. you can really know yeah. how that affects individuals. Yeah. Is yeah. Can I, can I, there's, there's one thing just for me to add to that. I, I just, just a, an experience with yourself. I don't, I don't know if you remember this, but when we, a little while ago, we went to the pub and I asked you, I said, oh, you know, Jason, where, 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 where'd you come from? And you said, Barbados. Yeah. And I said, no, 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 where do you re no, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about where you come from. And it's just interesting, isn't it? Cause you're, and you said to me, do you know what, Andy, I'm used to people asking me, uh, when they ask me that question, that they're asking me kind of where basically where my parents came from. Was actually, I, I was just asking, you know, I, you know, are you from Bromley originally? I, you know, that's what I was trying to get at. Um, yeah. But it's interesting, isn't it? That actually that does shape, it does shape how people relate in quite deep and very everyday ways. Yeah, exactly that, exactly that. And you're not gonna understand that, unpack that, unless you have the kind of friendship that we do. And you can just ask the honest questions.
that's the big thing. That's the big thing. Great. Thank you so much, Jason. Brilliant to hear from you.